go across the country. So four days, that's pretty fast. We're going to need to learn more about that later. I am a food blogger slash cookbook author. So they're an author. They, they're a foodie. Maybe that's what they were doing across the country. I feel like four days is pretty fast to have all the good food you could have, though. And lastly, sometimes they decorate their stream background based on new gifts that come out on Thursday. So they're a new gift lover. I'm a gift lover. You're a gift lover. Who could that be? We have to stick around to find out because we'll reveal that later in the show. For now, though, let's go over your tip of the week. Here it is. This is an easy one. It's something to get ahead of. Your tip of the week this week is start planning your theme streams now. Now is the perfect time to put together your content for the holidays, for your streamer get-togethers, for your theme streams where you'll have decorations, or maybe you're doing a snowman, or maybe you're somewhere where it's warm and you're putting lights on a palm tree. Now is the right time to start getting your supplies together and think about it. You don't want to wait till the last minute and have to not have your promo material ready, right? No, now's a great time to start doing it. Prepare for your theme streams, your holiday streams right now. Your rumor bus. We've got two rumor bus for you this week. Keeping you in the loop. Rumor number one, there was maintenance that happened on the platform earlier this week, and there may be more on the way. Both parts of that are true. We did have some maintenance on the back end earlier to help uh, back end of the platform earlier this week to help keep things running smoothly for you. There's some more of that on the way potentially next week. So if you see anything or like this doesn't look right or this isn't working how it should be, uh, that is why. So instead of shutting down the app, just things may not work quite as expected. You'll see a post similar to like what we did this week. We want to keep you in the loops that way you know. Your second rumor bust this week. There's no new features coming anytime soon. That rumor is false because today on the rundown, we're going to talk about two new features, two brand new things that are coming to the platform. They're not here yet. They're not here yet. So we're going to talk about it before you see it. So that way you can be ahead of it and be the first to try them out and experience them. All right. There's that. Welcome to the rundown. Fridays, 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You know the drill. We're going through all the fun new things that are happening. All right. New this week, we've got the November rain weekend. It's paying out to the top 70, and 933,000 diamonds will be paid out per day in this contest. That's not one day, not two days, but three days of contest. Each individual day, paying out nearly a million diamonds. Get your team together and start sending them some fall leaves, or the love unicorn, or the autumn castle, or the around the wheel, because those are our brand new gifts this week. And you can support your favorites in the contest or just show them some love if you want with those gifts. Last week, we had the Cornucopia weekend. It went the 8th through the 11th. Can you believe we're already midway through November? (laughs) This year is going too fast. Here we go. Here's your top 10 winners from last weekend's contest. Coming in in 10th place, we've got Pretty Girl Ra. Ninth place, The Purge. Eighth place, Nisi, the candy lady who just had her name pronounced correctly. Seventh place, Boss Baller. Sixth place, 702J. Coming in in fifth place, Reek and Vic. Fourth place, Daddy Geo. Your top three for the November Nova contest. In third place with wow, whoa, all these numbers are huge. It's over. Wow. Okay, 8,363,000 diamonds. The person who can get a lot of snacks, they got snacks on them because there's snacks on me. Congratulations, snacks on me. Getting that 8,363,000. That's insane. Coming, that's third place. Coming in in second place with 11,190,000 diamonds. Nuts. Big Empress, congratulations to you. And in first place, with 13,209,000 diamonds. Remember, top badge application requirements are 5 million diamonds. If people are crushing it so hard, they're qualifying for a top badge two times over in just one weekend contest. This is nuts. 
in first place with 13,209,000 diamonds. The number one stunner. Stunner, congratulations on taking first place in this past weekend's contest. And congratulations to everyone who participated up and down because even going down the 10th place, we're looking near 5 million diamonds. That's nuts. It's nuts. All right, my name's Chris. Earlier today on the rundown here, we teased who your new top badge of the week may be. We gave you three clues as to who they are. We're going to run those by you again. Now, if you think you know who they are, drop us a note in the chat. Go ahead, guess, so everyone can see how right you are. Very cool. But here's your three hits. Hint number one. They did a cross-country road trip, and it took four days. They're like the Flash. They're a food blogger and a cookbook author, so they know how to whip up a good meal. Maybe at Live Fest, they could show us a thing or two. Lastly, sometimes they decorate their stream to be themed around the new gifts that come out on Thursday. So they've got that community aspect as well. They see how to get involved, taking the things that are on the platform. That's very interesting. Okay, well, we've got a lot of reasons to smile today. But I can say for sure that this person is going to be smiling today because they are the Smiley J. And Smiley J, congratulations on being the official top badge of the week. Welcome to the show. Hello, Smiley J. Hey, Chris. How are you feeling? Amazing. Amazing. Love that. Well, I see. we see you smiling, so true to name. True to name. Absolutely. Perfect. Well, Smiley AJ, uh, you are not a stranger to great things happening, both on and off the platform. And you've been off to some pretty interesting things. So let's start out with this first one. You took a road trip across the states in four days. Now, do you yes. consider that to be fast? No, actually, we was it's supposed to have took three, but we caught a snowstorm in Colorado, which was nice because the mountains was beautiful. So yeah. what, it should have took three, but it took four because we had to stay the night. Okay, I just have no perception of time, but you, you're, you're, you're good. What was the occasion? Were you do some, doing something special? I used to travel because I've been working from home for eight years. Mm -hmm. so, I tra um, so I traveled to Africa four times. I've been to Hawaii. I've been to so many different states. So it was just knocked off the bucket list. Wow. Mm -hmm. and, and did you do that by yourself? Yes, all by myself. By, by yourself? Mm -hmm. Whoa, you're brave. I would be so scared. Right. <laughs> Just get lost everywhere. Wrong, <laughs> wrong turn, wrong turn. All right, so you, you did your, your four-day trip. Maybe you've got some more trips in the future. But when you're not traveling, you may also be found cooking up something great because you're not just a, a foodie. You're a food blogger. You're an author. When did the, the food get taken to the next level for you? When did it become more than just something to eat? Right. At first it was just blogging. I just, I mean, at first I just love to cook, but then, you know, when you can't, uh, would get a wing of social media, you'd be like, Oh, okay, well maybe I can start posting these. And then I'm like, Oh, well they really like this. So I got enough recipes to actually create a cookbook. And then I sold out like the first time. So it was, it was an amazing journey. And then yeah. I found streaming. Yeah. And, and seriously, when I'm watching those cooking shows, they just yap and yap and talk, but you got that exact skill as well, you bring it into the live stream. So you're bringing it all together. Can people catch you in your live stream cooking? No, well? that's the new year. The new year, we're gonna have like roast cooking and all that other stuff. I got so much in store for the new year. Wow, wow, okay, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. here's, here's the last one then, because we are talking about streaming. You are known to bring in some of the gifts into your setup. So how do you do that? Absolutely, so this gift is already set up. Whoa! So you see the new gifts, so they're gonna actually be hanging from the wall. That's so cool. So yeah, you hang the wall. Yep. How do you, that's so cool. How did you do that? Yeah, so I printed it all out. And then, so what I do is I live in Hobby Lobby. If anybody know I live there. So I go to Hobby Lobby and I just walk around the store like, how can I make this something for my stream? And then it just comes together. Awesome. Well, check that out. You've got new gifts already. Someone send her an around the wheel because that's what that's from. Okay. Um, <laughs> Smiley J, we're talking to her. Make sure you're hitting the favorite button. Before we say goodbye for now, I would like to remind you that this is a peer nominated process where your fellow top badges said, this person's great. They represent us and they go above and beyond. How does it feel to know that the community stands behind you like that? 
it's amazing because you know sometimes you do a lot of work but nobody shows you you know even the, sometimes but not all the time so to actually see when i saw that i was like wait people really do like me I, i'm okay yeah <laughs> so it's amazing <laughs> Yeah, we do like you. We we more than like you. We love that you're here and everything that you do. Smiley Jay, is there anything else that you'd like to say about your experience as a top edge or just the fact that you landed here being selected by your friends? Keep going. Listen, during the slow times, during the high times, during the if you got it, if you don't got it, just keep streaming, keep streaming, keep streaming. For sure. Consistency is key. Take Absolutely. it from the top badge of the week herself in the box at the favorite button. Smiley J, congratulations. Well deserved. Okay. Thank you, Chris. Cheers. And she is author, cookbooker, blogger, food aficionado, traveler, now top badge of the week. Another accolade to add to the trophy cabinet. 